Hi, my name is Sterling Slangenstein. I am a senior zoologist here at the Dallas Zoo, and I'm also a reptile zoologist at the Dallas Zoo. Reptiles are my favorite animals. They're just so incredible and they're so different from each other that it's a lot of fun to work in this department. And I'm gonna take you on a little bit of a day in the life experience with me and my team. First thing we'll do every morning is we'll walk through and we'll get an idea of what we need to do throughout the day, whether that's cleaning, feeding, or project work. And then after we do that walkthrough, we'll head back behind the scenes and we'll have our morning meeting. We will talk about what happened the days prior as well as what will be happening in the next few days. After that, we'll start going behind the scenes again and working in the exhibits, whether that's cleaning glass, feeding animals, getting enrichment ready, diets ready, anything like that to make these animals as happy and healthy as they can be. Next, what we're gonna do is actually go feed and train our false gharials, or we like to call them Temistema. False gharials are a really cool species of crocodilian. They can get to be really large and they have really slender snouts with pretty big teeth. So they're just such an interesting crocodilian and a really fun animal that I get to work with. Target. Good. We have two females, Snaggles and Elsie. Elsie's the one on top. Snaggles, target. Target training is essentially just leading them to where we want them to go with a colored ball and a stick and giving them a reward if they make it there calmly. One of the things we like to do with our false gharials is kind of give them a little bit of enrichment. We'll take a hose and we'll put the hose on shower setting and kind of point it upwards in the air. They're from a very rainy environment and so it gets them to exhibit natural behaviors that they would be in the wild as well. This is our intern for the summer. This is Miriam. She's been with us for about a month and a half now. And uh, one of the things that we're about to work with now is the caiman lizards, which are one of her favorites. So she's gonna tell you a little bit about them. Hi. <laughs> They're very social. They're mostly pretty calm during the day. They're just laying, sunbathing. This little guy's shedding. So sometimes we help them out a bit when they're shedding. Would you like some more? The internship is really amazing because not a lot of people can say they've interacted with these kind of animals, been able to feed them and, you know, meet these amazing people that know so much and love this job as well. A lot of experts in this department. Zeppi, this graze monitor that we're going to be working with, we're actually trying to harness train her. We can use that harness to keep our hands away from her mouth, but also make sure that she's supported without having a hand under her. And what Lisa's about to do, she'll have Zeppi come to the door and essentially get ready to put this harness on her. And if Zeppi decides that she doesn't want to participate, we stop and we'll take a step back, we'll approach it again. And if she still doesn't want to participate, we'll usually take a step back again. And it just kind of depends on how she's feeling, but it's completely voluntary and up to her. She's also feeding her grapes. Zeppi loves grapes and she's very sweet and we, we really enjoy training with her. Right around 12.30, we always like to give a reptile chat. That can either be down at the Galapagos tortoise yard or up at the herpetarium. And I personally really like to go to the Galapagos tortoise yard because they're such cool animals. They're massive and they get to be over 150 years old, which is just incredible to me. Our oldest one's only about 45, so he's like a teenager, but he's still so sweet and we can interact with him. And guests find it so engaging when they see us feeding or interacting with the tortoises. And we take that time to educate guests and try and encourage them to be environmental stewards and make sure that we're protecting animals like this and all animals. Well, it's nearing the end of the day now, so we're gonna start getting ready to close up. That could mean finishing any projects we started earlier today, washing dishes, cleaning floors, taking the trash out. We do like to leave detailed notes for anyone who's coming in the next day or off their weekend so that they know everything that happened while they were gone. Thank you guys so much for spending time with us here at the Dallas Zoo Herpetarium, and please come by and visit next time you come by the zoo. There's so many cool things to see here, and we hope that you guys enjoy it as much as we do. Thanks.